Hi everyone, so in this video I just wanted to show my camera setup um, just in case anyone is curious or to give um, some people some more ideas on how to film their art. I plan to do a video showing like a bunch of different techniques you could use to film uh, your artwork but I just wanted to do one just to show what my current setup is in case anyone asks I can just link them to this video. Um, this isn't the camera that I used to film, this one that you see up here on the tripod kind of thing, not really a tripod, the, the camera stand thing that's there. I'll explain that later though. Um, I'm actually filming with the camera that I use in my videos now because I got a new camera. It's called the Sony Alpha 5000 I think, or it's like ILCE 5000 or something like that. And so far it's really good at shooting pictures in low lighting, but this, this uh, situation here actually has a lot of lighting. But it's also really good at taking pictures indoors, which um, this camera here, which I used to use, was it needed um, a lot of light to have good quality. So I had three different desk lights, and they were all different temperatures, but I also got new lights. Um, there's two here, so I'll just show you them a bit closer. So basically this top here can fold down like this, and it can also fold down even more. It can collapse completely like that. To minimize shadows, I have them slightly turned like this because they can rotate like that. So I have them both turned over like this so that it kind of, it, they're more on top of the drawing rather than shining from the sides. So um, there's less shadows for my hand when I'm drawing. These are just example pictures to make this look more interesting than just my mat. Um, this is my sharpener in case you're wondering and this is like a little cat light. It's really cute. It lights up like that, but it can also be colored if you just hit it like that. So this is what the light is called. I don't really know how to say that. It looks like it's Aki or something like that. But this is a timer, so when you press that, um, blue light turns on. I'm assuming that means it'll turn off after a certain amount of time, but I don't know how long that timer is, so I'm going to test that one day. This is the power button. Um, this can lower the brightness make it brighter. This, you can choose the levels of brightness by tapping here. But I, of course I always keep it at full brightness. And this is a really interesting part about these lights because you can actually change the light temperature. I have the white balance set for this. I like this temperature of light the best, so I have the white balance set to make this look the actual white. So like I set the white balance at this light temperature. And both of the lights are exactly the same. So it's good to have two lights that are the same light temperature because it's just, overall it's just easier, you get better image quality, it's easier on your eyes as well just to have the same light. Now onto the actual camera setup, I'm just going to turn off these lights so you can see it better. So I've actually turned the lights toward this camera so you can see what's going on. My, this is my old camera, it's a Lunix Panasonic... I'm not quite sure what the model is of it, but um, I used it in all of my videos all the way to my first video. This is a camera I used um, for the longest time. It was actually given to our family by my grandpa and I kind of adopted it, but we still used it for like family pictures and stuff, but I this was a camera I used for all my videos. But now I have a new one. So what you see here is kind of like a tripod. This is really bright. Sorry if the lighting looks a little bit weird, but this is like a piece of wood on top of another like piece of wood drilled into the wall and basically there's a little notch in here and this has a little notch as well like to like like a key kind of interlocking thing I'm not quite sure what the actual name for it is but this is like a PVC pipe with a little elbow joint here and then another one and a little screw that fits into cameras and you just screw your camera into it and it films your videos down like that and this setup is really useful for people who have a desk against their wall because you don't need to film from the side like this. You can film from above by just literally attaching your camera to the wall and having it out like this. So this is a really, really useful method if you have the equipment to make something like this. My dad made this for me. He always helps me out with things like this. So I'm really grateful to have this because you can also slide this along back and forth. Um, to wherever you need your camera to be so it's really useful so that's what I use to fill my camera and my new camera does fit on this we actually glued this together so that it wouldn't fall off because this new camera is a little bit 
heavier, well, not a little bit, this new camera is quite a bit heavier than this one. And another really cool thing about these lights is that you can attach a USB into it and it actually charges, it can charge your phone, but I actually use it to charge my camera, my new camera, because you can charge it with a micro USB. So that's really convenient, so I'm glad I figured that out about the lights. I just wanted to do a shot of my camera, my current camera on the tripod using the old camera um, just for like a quality difference and a size difference so um, this is what the camera looks like and here's what it looks like off the tripod it's the Sony Alpha <laughs> 5000 it came with a like, lens on it I'm not quite sure what kind of lens it comes with but and it has a flip screen it's pretty cool so I um, really like this camera. I hope it lasts me a long time because it's really nice quality photos and everything. So this is what it looks like filming with the camera you just saw. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I film my videos, um, my new setup, my 2017 setup, I guess. It's probably going to be like this for a while. So if you found this useful, um, let me know. And I'm going to be doing a video showing uh, many different ways you can film your videos, um, your art videos when you're doing like speed paints. So. Um, I hope that will be useful too, just a bunch of different ways depending on your setup of how you can film your videos. So this is just my setup, but hope you enjoyed seeing it and thanks for watching.